side. Those are the ones where we're pretending it up a little bit. And one of the reasons why we talk about position is because we talk about position with the um, seat, we talk about position with locking the same thing with front. If you guys are in a position, when you're right here, you can now go, I can catch the ball and be quick. And if you're in this position, we can now go, oh, catch it and be quick. You're going to be like, oh, shoot, I'm in a terrible position. Now I've got to cheat to make up for that, and I have to do the match. If you guys get to a good position here, you think probably you're going to be quick. And we can wait for that ball to hit before we go. If you're in that position, you're probably going to cheat, 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 cheat. So the fix is not going to work.
gain momentum and ground at first base, even as we're making the end. This one we can't. How do we approach this ball here? Okay. I would say we need more of a straight line, but this time our back's going to turn away from the clock. So this one right here, I'm going to go here straight at it. I'm going to now take my right foot and plant it right with the ball. So what we're going to do right here is go straight at it, that, and shuffle right there. So you're going to pretty much, wherever that ball is going to end up, take your right foot and then turn it all that direction right there. We're trying to cut this down. This is a much higher or a much harder play because you actually have to turn your back to the ball. But once again, if the ball's down that line, we have to be quicker than any other ball right there. Okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take two of these balls away. I'm going to have you guys go one at a time. I'm just going to point to a ball. You're going to approach the ball, do the footwork, pick it up, or pick it up, do the footwork, and then drop it back down. The next guy's going to hop off. Make sense? All right. It's going to be the first one. You guys can wait, uh, wait behind me. Oh, can you tell it? I do. Now, what I would say on the game is keep your helmet on, don't take it off. Just take your helmet off and do this is just wasting time. You spent the whole game looking through a face mask. You can't tell me that you take it off and all of a sudden you see the ball better than it would be young. You know what time you take it off? This is the ball in the air and you're rolling hard. See that ball on the ground, you should be able to keep that out. Now, I would say I take a little bit more so your momentum is more going here when we pick it up. Let's try to add an angle a little bit more towards our first base. Right there, push back. Not bad, came a little bit more that direction right there so we get our team guards a little bit more direction. Not bad now. I would say that is the time to take a little extra tough work and have the ball stay 15, 20 feet away from you. Yeah, it's pretty much just going to be turn and spin right there. But right in here, let's pretend we have a little bit more time. We have a chance to take that extra shot. Ah! Yep, we went down with one hand right there, right? And that's where we're going to get a little bit more of a bobble when that happens. We're going to get a little bit off balance. And as soon as we do this, now we get ready to throw. This is where our transfer point is. Your arm's going to drag and throw that ball directly into the runner when that happens. So get there and get that on.
Because if you go this way, that means your knee is attached on your Or your leg is attached on your knee. So hopefully you don't fall that way. Because you're going to go here and then just go that way right there. You'll release the ball because there'll be screaming. There. So we want to make sure that once we catch it, as soon as we're putting that ball into our hand, we're pointing this foot to wherever that runner's coming from. So now we can actually get with the contact. Now, all this stuff with protecting you is trying to make sure that you're assuming that the guy coming down the line is the most unathletic kid ever to run on a baseball. That's how you have to be, so you have to be in a position to protect yourself. So, if we're going to say that this guy is going to slide at this angle right here, so we'll pretend to you where the guy's going. I am going to catch the ball. As I step, I am now turning my body while putting my hand in my glove. How do you score at home? You score by reaching over the top of the home plate or by touching the base. So where should we tag? Down here, glove. You want to tag here. It does not matter if the guy is up here. It does not matter. He has to touch here. So we are tagging low, not tagging high. So every time you do it here, we catch, plant, and then we are tagging this direction here. We want to start having our body turn this way as we tag, so now my body can get with it. Okay, he wants to demonstrate. He wants to be the run. Have you run? So you're not going to slide. All you're going to do is run about 50% in the back of the base right Okay? Yep. So I do this right here. Do it again. So it's going to be right here. That's here. Right there. Did I feel anything when he hit me? No. Nope. Go back. We are not doing this. Here we go. Who's going to have more force behind them? You or the runner? The runner. We are not trying to stop the runner. We are trying to just ride with this momentum and just slide in the market and running right here. Is it against us here? Just like that. That's where the ball is right there. Okay? Go one more time. A little bit faster. Catch. Okay. Do you even really hear my contact with him right there? No, because I'm just rolling. I'm not trying to stop him. I'm just having him touch my glove. And then I go out, and then I have the ball in that hand right there, okay? Do not try to stop. If you try to stop him, you are going to lose. Be in a position where if he goes into you, you can roll and fall on him. If he goes this way, you can roll with the momentum. Do not be in a position where we're doing this, and then we just get absolutely crushed because it has so much more momentum than we're in a terrible position. Does that make sense? Okay. So all I'm going to do, guys, is I'm just going to say, all right, ball's in the outfield. I'm just going to flip the ball to you. You're just going to come out, catch. Then I'm going to say, what was I going to say? I'm going to say, uh, I'll say transfer or turn. I'll say turn. And when I say turn, you're going to jab step and then put the ball in your front hand. So I'll say, catch it here, turn, and then I'll say tag. And then you'll do that and show me the ball in your hand. Make sense? What's that? Let's do it right See if you guys can protect yourselves. I saw my having start behind me on the plate. So as soon as I basically the ball is in, as soon as I say turn, that's when I want to start. I ball hit it. It comes in here. Turn. Now, so right here, so you see how we're going this way. Let's get it more this way. Yep. So then we can roll with it right there. Because if we start reaching here, that's when everything is very stiff right there. If we're in here, that means we need to extend our arms and go there. If we go to this way, that's when we get a little bit thrown into this. Make sense? I assume that the weight is still way too much. Turn, right there, and then roll it down. 
And then get on that. So we went. Right there, puts a little bit more stress on our back, right? So this is going to have to be a little bit like almost like we're dancing with our feet. We'll be nice and quiet with our feet. Alright, so right here, I'll take our pocket. And right there. Turn. Ah! So, hit. Then then we turn right there. Remember, as you do it. So just, it's basically like if I was to say, hold my hand, if I was hold my hand out here, I'd just hold you just slap my hand right there. It's as soon as it hits, you go there to the front of my hand. It's not that, right? So we should be relaxed. If you're having a strong grip with your hand, but as soon as it's hit, it's just going to roll over there. You're not trying to stick, and then you're going to go right back. Not like that. Turn. So when we slide, we're going to be going. Right into our glove, right? So if we're here, we're going to be going. Here and if we're here, we're going into the glove, we're going to go back. Hit. Turn. 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 Stop. Where's our throwing hand? Yep. Remember, always feel like we're doing right there, okay? Each 
thing that was worked on, if you work maybe five minutes a day on it, set the between commercial breaks or whatever favorite TV show you watch, if you just do that, do a little bit of footwork, do a little bit of positioning, do a little bit of drill work, you will get better. But if you just say, yes, I got five hours of information, I'm set, it does not work like that. My job is to give you as much information to put you in better positions. It's your job to work on it. So therefore, in a game, all this stuff right here, how much do I actually have to think about this? What I do? Nothing. It just happens because I've been drunk over and over to do this. If in a game, you have to say, ball's in the center field. Okay, so let me get out of here, make sure my foot's planted right there, okay, where the ball is, make sure I get low, let me catch it, put here, do that. You're going to have time to think about that in the game. Nope. Your job is in the game to be like, okay, now I need to catch the ball, let's have If you practice this, that's the position we're going to get to. If you don't practice it, you know the position we're going to get to. All that stuff makes sense? All right, gentlemen. You guys are free to go. Yep, absolutely. I'll see you guys, what, in a couple weeks? Yep.